At pinamagitan ko pa rin ang ating mensahe ngayon na Growing Deeper, Rising Stronger Part 2. Kinakailangan mag-grow muna tayo deeper. Kinakailangan. Before we can go farther, before we could accomplish yung mga gusto natin i-accomplish, kinakailangan mag-grow muna tayo from within. Kailangan mag-grow tayo sa knowledge, sa trust, sa faith natin sa ating Panginoon. Dahil kung hindi natin siya kilala, kung hindi natin siya pinagkakatiwalaan, how can we uh, rise stronger? Paano tayo mas gagaling? Paano tayo mas lalakas? So, yung strength, it must come from within, sa pinaka-core. And uh, we need to grow in the Lord para lumakas tayo. And then, pagka tayo ay matatag na sa Panginoon, then we would be able to rise stronger for Him. Uh, sabi sa Isaiah chapter 40, verse number 31, But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength, they shall mount up with wings as eagles, they shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. Ngayon po, we live in uh, the microwave generation. We want it and we want it now. Mabilisan. Instant coffee, instant noodles. Everything is instant. We want it right now. But ang sabi ng Biblia, wait. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. In verse number 27, sabi ng Biblia, Why sayest thou, O Jacob, and speakest, O Israel, my way is hid from the Lord, and my judgment is passed over from my God. Akala niyo ba wala akong magagawa? Akala niyo ba hindi ko kaya kayong dalawin? Akala niyo ba nakakapagtago kayo sa akin, sabi ng Panginoon? Well, let me tell you something about myself, God said, verse number 28. Has thou not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary, there is no searching of his understanding. Point number one, in God. We trust. Ang sabi dito, Has thou not known? Has thou not heard? Hindi nyo ba narinig? Hindi nyo ba nalaman? Hindi nyo ba kilala yung Panginoon? That the everlasting God, the Lord, listen to this, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not. Hindi siya nangihina because God is all powerful. He created the ends of the world. He created everything. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. He is what we call the omnipotent God. Now, He's everlasting. Bago magkaroon ng creation, of course, the Creator was already there. You and I cannot go anywhere that God is not already there. We can never go anywhere na wala pa doon ang Panginoon. Nandun na siya. So church, brethren, let us stop focusing on how small we are. And let us start focusing on how big God is. Number two, in God we wait. Verse number 31, But they that wait upon the Lord. So when we say, wait on the Lord, but they that wait upon the Lord, it's not just waiting and doing nothing. It means we are pursuing the Lord. We are doing what He wants. Gusto nating makuha yung approval ng ating Panginoon. That's what we do when we wait upon the Lord. Pinaglilingkuran natin siya. That's what waiting. Huwag natin papangunahan ang Panginoon. Amen? Let us wait for His will. Huwag natin pangunahan ang Panginoon. Matalino. Ang Panginoon, powerful, is full of wisdom. There is no searching of understanding sa Kanya. Alam niyo, sa buhay po natin, maraming gustong ituro sa atin ang Panginoon. But we will need to wait upon the Lord. Now, number three, in God, we rise. In God, we rise stronger. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. In God, we rise stronger. Weariness is feeling like life has drained out of us. Parang wala. Parang wala ng kulay. You are so stressed out. Ang sabi ng Biblia, But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. We will renew the strength if we would wait upon the Lord. Hindi lalayo sa Panginoon, kundi wait upon the Lord. Kailangan natin ng ating Panginoon. We must always remember that as long as God is on your side, then you got more than enough. As long as God is on your side, you are the majority and not the minority. When you have God in you, you are greater because He is greater and He is in you. 
and He is greater than He that is in the world. So as long as we have God, we are the majority because greater is He that is in me than He that is in the world. I don't need to look for so many people before I decide on things because as long as God is with me, I am the majority and I'm not the minority. 